She was an actress. She had some talent with a lyric, but her passion for the craft was unique. She had potential. Her approach was part satiric, with an honest, weird, yet sweet, yet goofy streak. Her commercial prospects felt a little bleak. So she enrolled in a class where they told her she was really just too rough. She performed with heart and brains, but that was simply not enough. Her package didn't fit into a mold. She'd work when she was 60, she was told. She fought her instincts, made herself a bit more edible, tried hard to not be classified as strange, scored an audition. Some new director, super credible, he didn't ask her name, just her range. She could sense her formal training and her natural impulse melt. I think it's worth a shot, is what she told herself she felt. And for the first time, she attempted to belt. <laughs> <laughs> she sang loud and high and impressively. She sang loud and high and impressively. And she felt fake and weak and progressively off base. Still, she sang loud and high and impressively. She carried on so sleek and aggressively. Oh, so loud and high and aggressively. Yeah, you should have heard the cheering in the place. The actress belted her off, which meant that she no longer had a face. <laughs> Her skin was in a mushy pile of blood in the middle of the floor. She tried to pick it up, the director said, leave it, you don't need that face no more. She was ushered off to a costume fitting one in OB the next day. It's amazing how quick things can move when you need snacks. She has no eyes now, so it's hard for her to see that this world she's living in is not her thing. She's got an unpaid intern working for a theater arts degree who drags her all around to benefits to sing. And now she's climbing. She don't miss characteristics that once distinguished her from all her peers. There's no more passion. She just sees it as logistics, singing up, and all the audience cheers. That's the shit that keeps them coming back for years. She sings loud and high and impressively. She sings loud and high and impressively. And she's got fans who shout so possessively. Embrace by singing loud and high. Never weird or real, just aggressively. Oh, so loud and high and aggressively. A million dollar mouth without a face. Sing, bitch, fierce, bitch, sing. 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 Report. 
replaced by Jenna Elfman. <laughs> Who the B and T crowd know? See the star, don't need a mouth. She just needs a name. And now the actress isn't any more like everybody else. She's tainted goods and armor chinked and through. Her stratospheric rise and fall is nothing new. In her apartment. She's fumbling and she's grasping how oh, the glory and the interns have all gone. She trips on her OB. <laughs> now she's on the floor and gasping. Her neck is broken and she just screams on and on. Somebody help! She just keeps crying on and on and on and on. She'll scream loud and high and impressive. Scream, bitch, fierce, bitch, scream. Loud and high and impressive. Scream, bitch, fierce, bitch, scream. She always sang so excessively. At her place, I see she was usually screaming anyway. So her yelling did. No one checked on her for at least a day. And when they finally did, the sight they saw was truly a disgrace. A dry and red, contorted, dead mouth without a face. Here's the moral of the story, said the neighbors from downstairs. If all you do is just scream loud and I. When you die, nobody cares. 